Hi Leo, welcome to your mid-February 2020 General Tarot update. It's Rena here. Excuse me. So during the last half of February, we are having a Mercury retrograde. And um, that can bring back people from your past, so keep that in mind. Because that may play into some of the uh, characters in this drama <laughs> called life. Um, the heart of the matter is the Justice card, which is connected to the sign of Libra and um, is about perhaps a, a literal judgment of some sort, legal judgment. Um, this can also be highlighting the need for judgment. I'm talking about discernment, um, you know, deciding what's good for you, what isn't good for you, that you, you have had to deal with. Because we have in the past position the Page of Cups, which can indicate some sort of experience that you had where you were uh, schnookered, is that a proper word, uh, which you were kind of um, played for a fool. Um, it can also deal with a child. The Page of Cups can be a child if you're dealing with child support or uh, child custody. Um, what are they called? Is that what it's called? you know, um, between two parents. And uh, if this is a facet of you, <clears throat> excuse me, then this can be a situation where you have felt that um, uh, somebody, you know, uh, fooled you in some way, and now you you can kind of realize and take responsibility for it. And instead, what I mean about taking responsibility, somebody else may have done something to you, and that is, you know, they don't get a pass on what they did. However, you can see your part, piece in that. You can see how you um, look the other way. You simply did not, you know, do your homework in some way. If it was like a business dealing, you didn't do your homework and you allowed yourself to get taken advantage of. And, you know, you might say, I'm not going to be the same fool twice. Um, and actually, it's represented by the higher message. The Nine of Wands, this is the sentinel at the gate. Be careful because someone may try to come back and run another scam on you. Um, and... An example, I mean, you know, that sounds kind of weird talking about scams and all this stuff. In the workplace, it could be like a bait and switch. You were told that if you did A, you would get B, and then you didn't get it, and then you realized that they were just using you to, to get what they wanted. And they don't, and, and that's just the tip of the iceberg, because really, it's about realizing how people can have this callous disregard for um, the feelings of others. And they just, they're just they just into it for what they can get out of it. And you are a very generous person, or at least you tend to be, as Leos. And that is just beyond your comprehension how people can be like that because you're just not like that and I, I think that um, I'm a Sagittarian for all of us fire signs and Aries is a fire sign um, we tend to believe the best in others and then if we get screwed enough we start to become very cynical because we we, we start to, to think that everybody is is like that which is not true either but um, I would say with those top three cards that you deserve the same level of care that you give to others. 
that you should never put yourself in a position of accepting less than what you deserve. If you have the moon in Pisces or Cancer or Virgo, you really need to hear that message because you may, or even Libra, you may tend to, um, you know, give in to other people and their needs, trying to please them and end up with um, depletion because we have a card here about like res restoration. So, and, and I also another thing too, um, if this is a situation of divorce, for instance, and you've divorced somebody, that person could come back even if they were the one that initiated the divorce. Understand, don't be the same fool twice. Uh, what crosses you is the chariot, and this is a card of, you see the, the, the horses of duality. Somebody, I think somebody wrote to me on YouTube and told me about this, which was really cool. The black and white horses, representing... You know, um, two sides of an issue, um, the yin and the yang, the feminine, the inward, the masculine, the outward. Um, perhaps you're having trouble um, doing what you need to do because you're being sucked into somebody else's drama and they've tried to make it your problem. And... I look at the chariot as somebody who is like, it's kind of like if you drive a car, which I don't, but uh, if you drive a car and you're going through a treacherous ground or, you know, a road that's very treacherous and you have to kind of avoid, you know, potholes and stuff, but you still have your destination in mind. Um, and you feel like, um, you have a goal in front of you that you're going to try to do, but you're dodging all of these things. Actually, speaking of traveling, um, the chariot card can be about travel, so perhaps travel is um, delayed. Of course, Mercury retrograde is in the house, so that might be what is going on. The, the official start to Mercury retrograde is... February 16th, and it's going to go until, I believe, March 9th. What's coming in is the Queen of Swords. This could be a vice. Being able to um, make a decision. Uh, yeah, I mean, even with the, the Justice card, we could be talking about um, trying to be reasonable about something and make a decision. Oh, well... You know, let's say this is a child custody issue. You might be angry at the relationship because of, you know, the failure of the relationship or what that person did. And you may be trying to hit them for all they're worth because, you know, I'm not just saying, oh, you're vengeful, but you just feel like you want to teach them a lesson. And the Queen of Swords, to me, is about really um, tuning into yourself to make th the best decision. That feminine um, energy of the queen re represents the water element and being able to, um, you know, make a rational decision, but one that's also connected to alignment with your higher self. So if there's something heated going on, <clears throat> If there's something very heated and you can't, you feel like you can't um, be detached, that, you know, you just have too much emotion connected to this, that you will still find it within yourself to keep on an even keel um, in order to do what you have to do because you may be called to kind of um, maintain your composure at the very least, whatever is going on here. Um, by the way, the chariot is connected to cancer. So if that's somebody in your life, if that's the person that you're dealing with, it's just reminding you that this person wreaks havoc on your life. They may be very manipulative and um, unreasonable and you may be 
really tired of their behavior. The outcome is the Four of Swords, so you may book some kind of a spa or a retreat, but it's not really the typical retreat where it's just like you're getting massages and pedicures. This is about deep reflection. Um, you know, I just happened to notice this because I thought, you know, this is such a weird thing to, to have the, the nights, you know, like the night is kind of chilling, you know. But it's like, yeah, it's like a respite from the war that you've just experienced. And um, re replenishing yourself in some way, kind of collecting your thoughts. The number four is number of foundation and organizing. So with, with the swords, dealing with your thoughts, it's a great time to, um, you know, look, you know, reflect on what you've dealt with and, you know, plot your um, future, you know, structure in your life and, and how you want things to go. Because you may have had a little bit of a um, topsy-turvy period, uh, Leo, and you're ready to just get, you know, stay above the fray and things like that. And, and justice is in the upright position, so perhaps there is this sense of victory, although with the chariot, it may be kind of, maybe it's a partial victory and then you, can't, you don't get everything that you want. Um, okay, that's what I have for you, Leo. I hope that you receive something from this. If you'd like a private reading, the link is below. Take care. Bye.